I've brought the ladder into the greenhouse today because I want to talk to you about automatic ventilation on greenhouses. And if you find you've got auto vents and they're not opening, then there could be a couple of reasons for this. First and foremost, it just may not be warm enough. In autumn, winter or early spring, the sun might be out, things might get warm in the greenhouse, but probably not warm enough for a period of hours for the wax in those cylinders to expand and open the vents. But if it's warm outside and inside and they're still not opening, then here's something to check. So the first thing to say is that this is a stormproof auto vent manufactured by Bayliss, who make the best quality auto vents on the market in the UK. And if you've got a quality greenhouse, the likes of Cultivar, Gabriel Ash, Hartley Botanic, Alitex, the chances are you will have a Bayliss auto vent like this on your vents. Now I'm gonna take this to pieces just to help identify some of the parts. The part I'm unscrewing at the moment is called an adjuster. And this adjuster is hollowed out to accept the piston on this cylinder. And you'll see this better if I can disengage it by hand. So there's the cylinder. That is a wax filled cylinder. And when it's warm, the wax in that cylinder expands and that in turn pushes out this piston. And that is what opens your vents. I'm just gonna push that back in. It is possible at any time of year that that becomes disengaged, usually due to high winds. And we're talking 50, 60, 70 miles an hour. You might get unlucky and it might just catch the vent when it's a little bit open, or if it's very strong winds, enough to lift the weight of the glass and work against the weight of those springs. So that cylinder disengages rather like that. So you'll notice a difference between an engaged auto vent and a disengaged one, because it could be hanging down like this, or if it goes the other way, it could be sticking out the other side. I'm just gonna put the adjuster back in. You can see that piston is no longer in the adjuster, but when you're looking up from below, it looks pretty normal. So that's something you need to check carefully. So to reset your auto vent, you are best off removing that adjuster. Now, I would be very careful to keep your fingers away from these arms because you have got the weight and the force of those springs working against you. But what you want to do is try and relocate that piston into the hole. And what you might find, just bring that out again, is if it's been warm, since you noticed it's not open, there's a chance this would have pulled down and that will make getting it into that hole a lot more difficult. So you can, with a bit of force, maybe using a book or something hard, just see if you can get that piston in as far as you can to make your job easier. And it will be easier when it's cold, like first thing in the morning, as opposed to the middle of the day when wax in there may have expanded. So I'm now going to lift the vent using a bit of force and just try and locate that into that hole. And then the adjuster can be put back in place. Well, hopefully that will put you back in business. The only other thing that might be to blame is the auto vent is past its best. Bayless give a two year guarantee on their auto vents, but you should expect to get five to 10 years out of a cylinder. So if your cylinder's over 10 years old and it's just not opening, maybe it's time to replace it. And that's for another video.